This is a quick clip for lesson 1.02, systems. A system is a group of parts that interact with each other. On the screen, you can see three examples of systems. Over here on the bottom right, you can see a picture of uh, a pool table where all of the billiard balls uh, are all parts of the same system on the table. Uh, here, you have an old-fashioned watch. Uh, with all the little pieces that all work together to make the watch work. And then here, of course, is a computer system where you have the monitor, the printer, the keyboard, the mouse, etc. They all interact with each other and they work together. An example of systems in science would, incul would include something like an ecosystem that you see here. Um, all the plants, the water, uh, the animals, the sun are all interacting with one another within that same ecosystem. Over here uh, we have a wa the water cycle and that is definitely an example of a system. And then here another system where we have a cell and all the different parts of a cell working together. Now in science Sometimes the systems are extremely small, like this animal cell, or extremely large, like this solar system. And so when that happens, in order to study them, uh, these systems, it's always good to create a model. So models are useful because there are some systems that are just too small or too large to observe. And then finally, we come to the idea of open and closed systems. An open system is a system where materials can leave or enter the system freely. Um, and then a closed system is a system where items cannot leave and cannot enter. So here, the first example would be this aquarium. Now, um, Looking at the aquarium, let me make this a little bit larger. You can see we have the light and um, the, there's no lid and uh, these plants are growing out. Uh, which would you consider this, an open system or a closed system? Well, because the aquarium is open and um, items can freely leave and enter that aquarium, it would be an open system. Now here we have a can of Pepsi. And if you notice, uh, it's unopened, right? It's still sealed. So at this point where it's not open, this would be a closed system. Here we have a safe that's locked. Okay, so this, of course, would be a closed system. And then finally, this glass of water. All right, and you can see the water pouring into the glass, so obviously that's an open system. But even if nothing was pouring into the glass and it was just a glass of water, water could easily evaporate out of the glass, so those water molecules would be leaving the system, and so that would also be an example or a demonstration of an open system. All right, so a really quick review of um, unit 1.02. Go back, take another look, see if you can answer the questions that go along with this quick clip.